So we'll move on to the motor examination. The main thing is to check the bulk, the tone, and the strength. Um, so looking first of all at the bulk, have you lost any muscle mass anywhere? Like if as many muscles shrunk? So you don't feel that anything's uh, gotten thin in, in anything. Okay. Uh, and again, um, we would uh, just uh, take a look to see if there's any atrophy of the calf muscles, uh, which he does not have. Other calf here, there's no asymmetry. Uh, calves can be enlarged in some of the muscular dystrophy, such as Becker's or limb girdle dystrophy. So we see no uh, changes in her muscle bulk. We'll take a quick look at tone. So if I can just get you to relax, that's good. And her tone is nice and normal. So with upper motor neuron findings, we'd get a, a catch and release if it's a corticospinal tract issue. If there's basal ganglia issues, there'll be stiffness in the tone, um, which we can see in kids who are floppy and hypotonic with muscle disease. We call that hypotonia, which is a form of weakness. Now we're gonna take a look at the proximal muscles. If you can hold your arms up, push up. And uh, you're trying hard there, right? Yeah, trying yeah. hard. There's no pain involved? No pain at all. Okay, so painless weakness is real weakness. Sometimes if people have a shoulder problem, it'll appear that they're weak, and that's more due to the pain. So there is definitely some weakness there that we can see, Aaron. Can you hold your arms like this? Pull your arms up. Okay, all right, and a little bit of weakness there, and push down. Okay, that felt weak too, eh? A little bit, yeah. Good, so it's arm flexion and extension, and she has a little bit of weakness. The weakness is graded uh, from essentially zero to five. Zero means there's no contraction at all. One is a flicker of contraction. Two would mean that you can uh, contract the muscle, but you have to eliminate gravity. So for example, she was able to pull up and give me some resistance, but if she was very weak, and we put her arm like this, now try and bring your arm in, good. So if she couldn't bring the arm up like this, but could like this, that would be a grade two because I've eliminated gravity in this situation. And then grade four is a little subjective. Uh, four plus means almost full power. Uh, four means that there's a loss of power. Four minus means it's just barely giving you some, uh, some power. So Aaron's strength there in the proximal muscles uh, was a grade four. Now we're just gonna check for sh some scapular winging. Put your arm forward and push up, push up, push up, push up and the scapula actually did come off the uh, back there. And you can feel it coming up, or if the patient uh, didn't have a gown on, you could see the scapula winging. We can see that in Pompe disease, we can see that in FSH dystrophy. So we do have some weakness there. Now let's take a look on this side, and just push straight up, push, 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 and there is some scapular winging there. So there's definitely proximal weakness. Now let's take a look distally. Can you squeeze my fingers? Strong as you can, strong. Oh, that's good and strong, okay. Now I'm gonna ask you now to squeeze strong, and let go as fast as you can. Let go, good. So her distal strength is totally normal and there was no myotonia. So there's things called myotonic dystrophy, which uh, I don't think you have. Type one would definitely show stiffness in the hands. And we'll just do one other quick check. Spread your fingers apart, push, push, nice and strong, push. So distal myopathies or neuropathies would show weakness distally. Her strength is normal, but we're seeing some proximal weakness. Now let's turn our attention to the lower extremities and finish the motor exam. Bring your knee up. Can you get up to my hand? Push, push. Okay, all right, let's try it on this side. Bring it up, push, push. So she can just barely get it up. So on this side, uh, she couldn't move through gravity, so that would be a two. On the left, she could move through gravity, that's a three. So clearly we have some weakness there. Now try and push your legs apart. Okay, that's nice and strong. That's abduction, taking away. Uh, bringing together is add, bringing it, adding it back to the body. Okay, okay, and you okay? So she clearly demonstrates some weakness with hip flexion and adduction, uh, but not abduction. And we often see that in different muscle disorders. And now we can take a look at the more distal muscles down here. So if I can get you just to relax, pull the toes up, strong as you can, pull. Good, and that's nice and strong. And this one here, pull. So if we did see some weakness there, we would contest other muscles, but to a, a first approximation in a family medicine office or internal medicine, those are really the main muscles that we would check. And what we see is definitely some proximal weakness, and we're going to just check a few other things. 